It's always great talking to Kyle Dawkins, who's going to be back in action. UFC Fight Night, February 19th against Julian Marquez. Kyle, how's it going, man? Going pretty good, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's always good to chat with you. Look like you got a full camp for that one. Is that accurate? Uh, no short notice fights this time around? Yeah, I've had like a 12 week camp for this fight. Uh, so it's been good. Um, but of course, you know, never really won a 12 week camp, but uh, I pushed kind of like uh, eight to 10 weeks. So it's all it's going good. Yeah, you had kind of a weird 2021. I mean, a lot of people did, but you in particular with the Kevin Holland thing and then fights falling through and everything like that. I, I imagine this was the earliest you could get a fight because I imagine you wanted to at least get one in at the end of the year, but it just didn't work out. Yeah, you want, I wanted to, but, you know, obviously it didn't work out for some reason. But uh, I was told February uh, February 5th they were trying to book me, I think it was, for uh, the Kevin Holland rematch. And then we kind of had like a mix up with that um, after, I, after I had the fight with Roman. Um, and then, yeah, this is probably, this is the next, next thing they gave me. So interesting. And now uh, you got your dog making a cameo, which is uh, <laughs> no, awesome. Here. No, that's, that's good. Hey, more, more the merrier, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, were, were you, uh, was there ever any talk of rebooking the Delete Day fight? Cause that was, I know a fight that was offered after Kevin Holland. Uh, they offered it for the following weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, cause we were supposed to put on the 13th, I believe. And then they offered it for the 20th of November. Um, and then, but that was the night, that was the weekend of my engagement party and stuff like that uh, that I had with, yeah. my, with my fiance. So I couldn't really cancel that. Uh, so I said no, but I'll gladly do it another time. And then I got home on Sunday, and then I think like Tuesday or Wednesday they offered me the uh, Julian Marquez fight. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. What did uh, without getting anyone in trouble here? What did you get up to on your engagement party? I was just a little partying. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. My family was over. Uh, I had a bunch of people over, but it, it was a good time. Cool. That's good. We'll leave it at that. Uh, Julian Marquez, uh, what do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him? Nine and two record, quite the personality as well. Uh, you know, pretty notable guy too. So I'm sure you're happy about that. Yeah. Everybody, everybody kind of knows him. Everybody knows who he is. Um, after, ever since his Miley Cyrus call out and, uh, <laughs> all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, he's a very, a very, very tough fighter. Very good fighter. He's very durable. Um, he showed in his Patolo fight that he can kind of take a beating and still be in there to win. Um, so it's going to be obviously a, a very tough, tough fight and tough to get him out of there. I don't think he's been finished in the, he hasn't been finished in the UFC. Um, and, uh, he's been fighting a lot of Southpaw, so I've been getting a lot of looks on that. So that's, that's a kind of a plus on my side. How would you have handled the Miley Cyrus thing? I mean, I know you're a, you're a committed guy. You're obviously getting married and all that, but, uh, how yeah. would you have, have dealt with that? I mean, as soon as she responded, you got to do something with it. You can't just make a response with, uh, you can't just like counter her offer with another offer. Right. If she's. True, She's but I, offer, I also no, see it from offer, his perspective. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of on the side of, you know, because here's the thing. If you play a little bit hard to get, like I'm sure she's had plenty of guys do what you just suggested. So maybe if yeah. you kind of flip the switch a little bit, maybe it at least makes her think a little bit differently. I don't know. I know what he was trying to do. And I think, you know, apparently they're friends and they follow each other. So it looks like it kind of worked out, right? So it worked out a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. you got to take advantage of that when, 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 when it arises, right? Fair enough. Fair enough. I see both sides of it. Uh, training camp. Any anything different for that? As I'm trying to make a segue here, hard hard turn here in the interview uh, from Miley Cyrus to uh, training camp. But anything different for this camp or usual cast of characters working with your brother Chris, obviously, and all the killers over there at your gym? Yeah, usual guys I've been training with. Uh, nothing's really changed. Um, yeah, nothing's really changed. It's just been a really hard camp. It's been a good camp. Uh, um, um, this is my last kind of hard week. Uh, last hard push that I have. I have like two more like serious like fight simulation. Um, mm-hmm training sessions uh and then we're off on tuesday to uh go out there and, and fight on on saturday let me ask you this i mean you have a gym other than your <laughs> brother and uh you know you know a few other uh, fighters that i know you train with there's aren't there aren't like a lot of household names who's someone we should be knowing about at your gym because i know I, I talk to fighters all the time they love training with the amateurs the up-and-comers because those are the guys that are going to give you the biggest push who are some guys that you know not to leave anyone out but is there anyone when i say that that comes to mind that you train with that's really someone we should keep an eye on uh, there's one heavyweight that we have at the gym now. He just kind of joined up. He kind of links in um, here and there, but he's 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 a very good wrestler. His name is Ryan Appleby. He's an amateur right now. Um, mm-hmm. He's a heavyweight. He's about 260 pounds. He's probably the strongest guy I've ever wrestled wrestled with. Um, I think he was a Division two, I want to say, or so wrestler. But mm-hmm. this kid's wrestling is is far superior to anybody that like we've ever trained with. Um, and it's kind of a I don't know how to say it, but like it, it hinders his performances for the, the, the PA style of fighting that we have here for amateurs. Cause you have to wear shin guards um, and you can't ground and pound on uh, in the face. You're going to hit to the body. So for a guy like him, who's such a, a talented wrestler, you know, it's kind of just a grappling match for him afterwards. So it's kind of like 
a boxing match and then as soon as it hits the ground, it's wrestling. But uh, we're trying to get them some fights down in like Baltimore, uh, not, not Baltimore, Jesus, in like Baltimore, uh, mm. in Maryland, and, and, and in Jersey and stuff like that. We're trying to get some amateur fights or in Virginia because I know that their rules are uh, pro rules, but they're still amateur fights. And it, once this kid can ground and pound, his kid's going to be a problem for everybody. And uh, he's going to be a guy that too, I'll definitely watch out for. Good. I was like hearing the, the, the scouting reports. I got to hear from the source, right? It makes sense. Um, I mentioned your brother, Chris. I know not the result he wanted against Derek Lewis. How's he doing? And when are we going to see him back in there? Uh, he's doing good. Uh, he, he's back to training now. Um, kind of took a bit. He took like a week or so off. Um, also hasn't been sparring or anything like that. Trying to like let his brain heal, obviously. You know, my brother and I are very big on just making sure that men, our mental health and, and mentally we're all all there. You know, we don't want to get too early of too much brain damage, you know. Um, but yeah, he's good. He's got he's had a couple of calls for short notice fights, but it's just not not something that he needs to be doing right now that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a really good offer recently, but uh, it was also like four weeks away or five weeks away or something like that. And he wants to get a full camp in as well. So uh, we're just waiting for another call to see whoever whoever they kind of throw at him. Yeah, and good for him. I mean, it's your career yeah. you're talking about here. Sometimes you jump into those opportunities, and all of a sudden you you got two losses in a row, and you're wondering where you know how my contract's looking, right? So it's good that you've kind of you know recognized that and not felt the pressure of having a fight, right? I mean, it's obviously yeah. you'll fight. You guys will fight anyone, but you got to be smart about it too. You know, like it's it's yeah. important. And obviously in the heavyweight division, you know, these guys are knocking each other senseless, and if you're getting knocked senseless every eight weeks, it's not it's not going to be too good on your health either. So yeah, <clears throat> very well said. Uh, will Chris be in your corner for this fight? I imagine usual corner for this one. Yeah, usual corner, my brother, uh, Will Martinez is my coach, and then Jim uh, Morris, who is another uh, brown belt at the gym that uh, is a very good jiu-jitsu guy that, uh, that I've been training with. So, Cool. How's this fight playing out? I know you feel like you're going to get your hand raised, otherwise why sign the contract, but how do you envision it playing out? Uh, I think it's going to be just a uh, kind of, I, I mean, I don't hope it's a back and forth fight. I don't want it to be a back and forth fight. I'm going to do my best to go out there and just dominate from start to finish. Um, if the finish does come, then it does, but uh, I'm not going to push for anything, obviously. Um, but I see myself taking the middle of the, middle of the octagon very, very quickly and kind of just putting him on his back foot. And I, that's kind of that's what I have to do in order to win this fight. Um, I'm going to be just as aggressive as I can be. Uh, I'm not going to go too wildly or, or anything like that with my aggression, but I have to have controlled, controlled aggression and just go in there and just dominate and, and just perform. We talked about your engagement party. Do you have a date set for your actual wedding? When's that happening? April 28th of uh, 2023. So next that's- year, next April. Oh, okay. God. So you have a full year then. That's good. Yeah. Cause yeah. you need, you need time to, I don't know how you're doing, you're doing it, but uh, like, like when I got married, my wife and I had to pay for it ourselves. So we just saved up like an entire year and then did it. And then it was just much easier. So good call. You don't need to rush to get married yeah. uh, if you want to have no. a good wedding. Right. So, no, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, it's something that we want to do. I, I, I don't think there's like all my, my views on marriage, you know, weren't always that like I needed to get married and stuff like that. And hers kind of were, and then like she switched over to kind of my views and stuff like that. And then I fell back on, you know what, I'll just, we'll just get married. It's compromise, so. right? That's what a good relationship <laughs> yeah. is, Kyle. You got it made. So that, yeah, that's good. Right? <laughs> well, and so, so kind of on that note, like what are, what are some of your goals this year? Like in terms of like, I'm sure you want to fight three times, like with the wedding next year, that kind of gives you a bit of leeway. Cause that's what I was wondering. If you had a wedding coming up, probably don't want any, uh, you know, bumps and bruises on your face on the big day. Right? No, definitely not. But, uh, yeah, for, for 2022, I just, I just want to keep winning and, and just get these fights in and just kind of just stay active, you know, last year and uh, the year prior, I mean, the year prior I was moderately active i guess Mm -hmm. um and last year i was very i think i had had two fights last year so that was it um but just some bad luck though i mean that's i mean a lot of that's not to your own doing right it was just no definitely not but but, uh this year i just want to stay active and just make sure that uh i just keep winning and just climb the ranks as best as i can by the end of this year and remind me what is your contract status right now do you have a couple fights left in your deal yeah i i have well, not counting this fight, I have two more on my, two more on my uh, deal. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And always got to ask, downtime, you watching any cool Netflix shows or playing any video games? What have you been up to? Uh, the new season of The Servant, which is on Apple TV, uh, that's pretty good. I, we just started watching that, so we're, the new season of that is on, so we're, we're kind of hooked on that. I'm hooked on that right now. I don't know if you know about that, if you ever heard I of it. I don't. I got to I gotta check it out. You know, you know what I'm getting through right now is uh, the, the Pam, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee show on, on Hulu. Have okay. you heard about this? Okay. It's pretty good. I've, I saw the trailers and stuff like that, and they look identical to them, but like, I, it's not, it doesn't pique my interest too much. I guess like, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you. So I kind of grew up yeah. with that, like in the 90s. So I was kind of always mm-hmm. curious, like what happened with that? So it's kind of like more yeah. like just trying I mean, to catch I'm up sure, and everything. I'm sure I'll end up watching it eventually because my fiance is, my fiance keeps asking me about it. So <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll probably another compromise. There you go. That's you good. Go. Good, yep. good relationship. Uh, Kyle, thanks so much for doing this, man. It's UFC Fight Night, February 19th. Anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. 
Yeah, so uh, two sponsors that – well, actually, three sponsors that I have. One is just Antrim Electric, who is just an a, a electrical company guy that I tr- I've been training with at the gym for a while now. Um, Fuel Hunt is a clothing um, and MMA gear design guys that uh, have been behind me and my brother since uh, – since like i think it's like three years now um they're very big into to just hard work and and we have a blue collar brawlers um brand uh with them so you can head over and over to to fuel hunt and uh grab one of the blue collar brawlers t-shirts um there's also rash guards and stuff like that with uh, with our design on it as well um and performance meal prep who is a just a local based philadelphia company that's been really helping me with my weight cut and helping me with uh food every week you know it's 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 kind of very important for, for fighters like me because I'm very picky on what I want to eat and uh, everything's locally sourced. I make sure nothing's processed and they don't do anything processed either. And they've been helping me out all, all, uh, all fight camp and my weight's great. And I'm looking forward to, to just maintaining and, and getting in there and uh, weighing in and, and making weight. So I'm very thankful to all three of those sponsors. Um, also, just everybody at the gym, as always, you know, everybody's great. Uh, I'm very thankful for all the support that I have elsewhere uh, as well. And I can't wait to get in there and get my hand raised on the 19th.